Here is one of the most beautiful problems in all of mathematics. The Basel problem. It asks for the exact value of the sum of the reciprocals of all perfect squares. The answer is astonishing, and the journey to find it is even more so. The value is pi squared over 6. This result, discovered by the great Leonhard Euler, connects the integers to pi in a completely unexpected way. But how could we possibly prove this? Our journey begins not with infinite sums, but with something more familiar, polynomials and their roots. Consider a simple polynomial. Its roots, the values of x that make p of x equal to zero, are clearly r1 and r2. We can write this in a different form, which will be incredibly useful. Notice the roots r r1 and r r2 are still the same, and p of zero is c. Expanding the terms gives us this expression. Now let's factor out the variable x from the middle terms. Now, we need a function whose roots we know. And there is one very famous function that fits the bill. The sine function. It has roots at 0, pi, negative pi, 2 pi, negative 2 pi, and so on for all integer multiples of pi. The roots of the sine of x are all integer multiples of pi. This leads to a powerful strategy. We will find two different expressions for the same function and then compare them. The function we will use is the sine of x divided by x. Why? Dividing by x removes the root at x equals zero. You'll see why this is important in a moment. First, let's write our function as an infinite product using its roots. The roots of sine of x over x are now at plus or minus pi plus or minus 2 pi and so on. Following our polynomial analogy, we can write it as an infinite product like this. Using the formula a minus b times a plus b equals a squared minus b squared, our product simplifies beautifully. Let's call this expression 1. Now for the second way to write this function, using a Taylor series expansion, which was well known in Euler's time. The Taylor series for sine of x around 0 is x minus x cubed over 3 factorial, plus x to the 5th over 5 factorial, and so on. We will divide the entire series by the variable x. Distributing the 1 over x gives us this new series. And evaluating the factorials gives us the simplified form. Let's call this expression 2. Now for the moment of truth. We have two different expressions for the exact same function. They must be equal. The infinite product must equal the infinite series. So, the coefficient of x squared from the product side is negative 1 over pi squared, minus 1 over 4 pi squared, minus 1 over 9 pi squared, and so on. Now, we equate the coefficients from both sides. We can factor out negative 1 over pi squared from the right side. And look what has appeared. There, that looks much cleaner. And there it is. We have arrived at the solution to the Basel problem. Let's reflect on what just happened. We solved a problem about an infinite sum of fractions by using the roots of the sine function. This is the magic of mathematics. It reveals deep and hidden connections between seemingly unrelated fields, tying together integers, trigonometry, and infinite series into one beautiful, perfect formula. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this journey through Euler's beautiful solution. If you enjoyed this, please like the video and subscribe for more deep dives into fascinating math.